Hello, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. It is Friday. We've got some stuff going on later in the afternoon today, but I think the morning for Grace and I is just gonna be pretty chill, take things slow, maybe tidy up the house a little bit because we've got uh, some various clutter piles that have just accumulated. Um, and actually in like an hour here, like around nine, we have um, the mobile dog groomers coming to clip the dog's nails, give them a bath. It's, we used to like take them to a groomer. I didn't even know that like mobile dog groomers like this were a thing until I looked into it after Grace was born because I tried to take the dogs to get their nails clipped while like carrying the infant car seat on my arm. And it just felt like such a a hot mess. I was like, there, there has to be a better way. <laughs> so now uh, we have this mobile dog groom company that just has a van where they do everything in. They pull right up to the house, they take the dogs, and then the dogs are less stressed because there's not like so much else going on and so many other dogs. So it's worked out really well. And it's actually not that much more expensive than the dog groomer. The price is pretty comparable and we don't have to go anywhere. So it's a win. Grace is already up. She and Steven just went out to get the mail. And then in like 10 minutes, he is going to be getting ready for work. So I'm going to take over. So I'm going to try to do like the quickest 10 minute get ready and see what we end up with here. Eight minutes later and this is what we're working with. I've got my hair just slicked back into a bun. Simple little outfit with this uh, white button up that I thrifted. Black tank top from Old Navy and then these little flowy black shorts are Halara. Now into the morning. Grace wanted to get in our Halloween costumes to play, so I'm Spider-Man. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm coming. Where are we going, Captain America? <laughs> <laughs> This is Bella, we'll start with her. Look, Grace, she's all groomed. And here's Bruiser. Bella was such a good girl, and now she smells so good. Good girl, Belle. Come here, baby. Yes, Bruiser's clean now, too. What do you think, should we give him a treat? Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. All right, it is almost noon. Um, Grace has just been really into playing with her toys for like the last hour. So it's been uh, pretty chill, just hanging in her nursery. I did a little bit of decluttering right outside her nursery while she was playing. So it's been great, good morning. Um, and now heading into the afternoon, it's gonna be nap time pretty soon. And uh, we just brought gr some of Grace's toys out here. So she's playing with her little food truck while I'm gonna make some lunch. Although I don't really feel much like cooking and we do have some leftover veggies in the fridge. So I think I'm just gonna do those with with, uh, like a frozen pizza that'll pop in the oven and that'll be lunch. All right, night, night. I love you. All right, it is nap time. Grace is asleep. I just came up here into the filming room and unboxed a package that came in from Halara who is sponsoring today's vlog. So I thought nap time would be a perfect time to do a little try on haul. I got four new bottoms that I'm super excited about. Really, really excited to be working with Halara again. I love their stuff. And Halara is all about like good quality at an affordable price. Each of the items I'm gonna show you are under 50 dollars each and that's like their like regular everyday price. I have a 20% off discount code that you guys can use for any of these items and more on the Halara website. It's SIE20 for 20% off so you can get an even better deal. Halara has both standard sizes and plus sizes so everything I'm going to show you I got in a 2x and as we go I'll let you guys know how everything is fitting, what the sizing is like, if it runs big, small, true to size, um, any tips like that if you're wanting to order. So here, here is what we got. Let's try them on. Okay, so first up, these are the Cloudful Air Fabric High Waisted Full Length Joggers. And I love that these are like kind of a cross between a legging and a jogger. Like they have that more fitted legging look and the Cloudful fabric that these are made in is like my favorite for Halara leggings. So it kind of reminds me of that. But also they have the cute little jogger details. They have the drawstring, the side pockets, the gather at the ankles. These are just a great pair of pants. I feel like I'm gonna end up reaching for these a lot when I like wanna wear leggings and I want that comfort 
comfort but I want something that looks a little bit different perfect for like running errands or like my days out with Grace taking her to her classes and stuff but yeah super happy with these pants I really like the fit 2x was definitely perfect these run true to size as long as you're wanting this like fitted look and they also come in so many different colors I think these joggers come in eight shades. These light blue are my favorite. I, this is like my favorite color. So whenever something's available in this color, I'm always like that one. <laughs> and I feel like Halara always comes through with the, the color options. They always have a ton of variety to choose from. But yeah, super happy with these pants. Excited to be adding them to my wardrobe. Now, next. Oh my gosh, these pants. The I feel like when I think of Halara, I usually think of their active wear, but they also do have some really cute, more like outfitty options. And <laughs> that's like such a weird way to describe it. But I feel like these pants are just everything. These are their mid-rise corduroy casual pants. They have that really nice like straight leg look but still really roomy in the thighs. I want to cuff these because that's how I love to wear these kind of pants but I wanted to show you guys like the full length first. So here they are cuffed now. I'm I'm just so excited about these. I keep like looking at myself in the viewfinder which I know I'm supposed to look at the camera but like the pants you guys. The pants. My perfect little fall corduroy pants these come in uh three colors all beautiful fall shades they're made in this really nice durable corduroy fabric they've got deep pockets on both sides just such a great look such a great fit definitely true to size they have uh an elastic band in the back but they're like a normal like button zip fly in the front so they give like a more structured look but you don't have to worry about them like pressing into your stomach i'm so excited about these i can't wait to wear these to like a pumpkin patch walking around like frolicking fall leaves i'm just i'm just sad that i didn't get these before my trip to oregon last week because that's we went there last weekend and like the fall vibes of like the leaves and like the rustic buildings that these would have been so perfect but uh i i'm just glad i have them now because these are the best okay these are the cloudful fabric high-waisted crossover leggings i got them in this nice maroon color these ones come in six different colors if you're wanting to mix it up a little bit they also have just like a classic black if you're wanting something that can go with everything. I love this like crossover design in the front. They've got the two pockets on the side and these leggings are just like so soft and smooth. They're made from the Cloudful 3.0 fabric, which is like supposed to be like a second skin, super soft and smooth. I just want to keep like rubbing my hands on them. And it's also really like nice and stretchy. It doesn't press too much on your stomach. So these are like a really great pair for long car rides or travel, really great fabric. I just love these leggings. They fit really nice. They feel really nice true to size for me i feel like the 2x is perfect so super stoked about these and then my last thing this cute little flare tennis skirt also with the crossover in the front and also made from the cloudful fabric it has built-in shorts underneath and uh hidden pockets on the side just super comfy really cute look great fit i'm excited to wear this for pickleball but also i feel like especially in the fall for like a cute little preppy look skirts like this look really cute with a crew neck layered over like a little button up or I have one of those like fake collars that I'll always put under to like get that look without the extra bowl and I feel like the skirt is, is gonna be really cute for that and yeah fits really well definitely true to size all four of the bottoms I got fit nicely were the right size I feel like the sizing was really consistent across the board so if you want to get anything that you just saw here there is a link in the description and you can use my code SIE20 for 20% off huge thank you to Halara for sponsoring I'm so excited about all my cute new stuff and um grace is still napping so i've got a little bit of work that i want to do on my phone before she wakes up so i think i'm just gonna go chill on the couch do that have a big glass of water because <laughs> i left my stanley cup in my car and not having my stanley cup means that i am drinking like a quarter of the amount of water that i usually do and i'm like why do i kind of have a headache right now and it's like well maybe maybe it's because you haven't been drinking water maybe you should go get your stanley cup or maybe you could just drink from a normal cup and let go of your cup obsession for like five seconds but anyways let's do some work let's drink water um and then when grace wakes up we are gonna head over to my parents house all right 2 30 and uh girly is still napping so i uh, i finished what i needed to do got some posts up and now I am just collecting some of the stuff that I'm bringing over to my parents' house um, because tomorrow is my sister-in-law's baby shower. My mom and I are throwing it and I am just 
so excited. So excited for them and like the fact that they're having a baby, I'm gonna be an aunt, which I was I was talking about it with like my brothers and uh, my sister-in-laws and I was like, you guys all get to be aunts and uncles. Like Steven and I, we haven't gotten to do that yet. Like this, this is the first for us because um, Grace was like the first baby in the family and now it's just so exciting to see the family grow and I just, they're just gonna be the most amazing parents. So I'm really excited to celebrate them tomorrow. The baby shower is Winnie the Pooh themed. So I got these like cute little wicker, like woodsy looking uh, bees, which I'm gonna use in the flower arrangements. I'm just gonna pick up some flowers from Trader Joe's tomorrow morning and like put these in them. And my mom has like little honey pots that we're gonna use for the flower arrangements. Another cute little Winnie the Pooh bee thing that I bought online. These are a little edible sugar bees. So we've got little bunt cakes for one of the desserts and I'm gonna put the little bees on them. I also have some random stuff I need to bring over like the Sharpies to sign the guest book and the prizes for the games, various other things. My mom also asked me to bring a steamer for uh, the tablecloths. So I need to make sure I don't forget that. <laughs> um, and then most of the decorations are already at my parents' house. So tonight we're just gonna do like the preliminary setting up that we can and kind of like mapping things out of where we're gonna put the tables and stuff tomorrow and kind of talk through like all of our plans and the timeline for tomorrow and setting up an actual party. My mom said to come over like anytime after three. So when Grace wakes up, she and I are just gonna head over there for a little bit and then we won't be able to spend too much time there because I need to be back home at five because Kenzie and I have plans tonight. I'm so excited. It's, it's opening night for the Taylor Swift Eras Tour concert. Concert, concert movie. Yes. <laughs> What's the official title of it? Hold on. Oh, it's just called Taylor Swift The Eras Tour, but it's obviously a movie. It's a recording of the concert, which I am so, so excited for. I love Taylor Swift. It is no secret. Um, and Kenzie and I went together to opening night of the Eras Tour, which it's crazy. That was like almost a year ago now. And tonight we get to like relive it, but in comfy movie theater seats. I, I have not seen like a concert movie since the Glee 3D concert movie, if anyone remembers that. I remember seeing that in theater like multiple times. It was like a big deal. If you were a theater kid back in like 2010, you get it. But I'm really excited for this. Um, we got these tickets a while ago and I like kind of forgot about it. And then earlier this week, I was looking at my calendar and I was like, oh my God, the Eras Tour movie is this Friday. And now it's Friday and I'm just so excited. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing this evening. But for now, Grace is still napping. I am going to go upstairs and get my steamer, double check my list to see if there's anything else that I need to get. And then uh, we'll head off to my parents' house at some point when she wakes up. <laughs> Do you know who that is? That's Luke Skywalker. Prince Eric. He's like Prince Eric. <laughs> All right, back home now. Got a good amount of the setup and prep done for the baby shower tomorrow. And now Steven is done with work, so he's with Grace. And I am getting ready for the Eras Tour movie. I'm so excited. I wanna be comfy, but also like Swifty. <laughs> so I was thinking this all too well 10 minute version, Taylor's version crew neck that I got for Christmas from Bethany, my sister-in-law, my other sister-in-law, not the pregnant one. I have two sister-in-laws, two brothers. Sometimes I see confusion about that in the comments. But anyways, sweatshirt. And then I think I'm gonna stay in the little Halara tennis skirt and my sneakers. And since I was talking about like the little fake collar look with the crew neck earlier, now that's kind of in my brain. I'm like, maybe I do that tonight. It'd be cute, but still super comfy for the movies. This is it, the collar thing. <laughs> I got uh, I got these on Amazon a while ago and it's really nice because I like the little like layered button up look, but I hate the bulk. Looks absolutely ridiculous before you tuck it in, but after it's so cute and I feel like you really can't tell. And here's the fit. We are ready for the Eras Tour concert movie experience. <laughs> Actually, I'm so annoying. I'm going to change. I literally, I just thought about the fact that I'm wearing a short skirt and going to the movies, which means that my thighs will touch the movie theater chair, which the thought of that makes me want to crawl into a hole and never sit in a chair again. So as cute as this is, I'm going to change into the maroon Halara leggings that I tried on earlier. Sad to ditch the skirt because it was such a cute look with this, but I don't, I'm going to be much more comfortable, have a better viewing experience in these. 
these. And then I think, I think I'm gonna ditch the collar too because without the skirt, it's just not my favorite. So we're down to a, a more simple outfit, but I feel we've got like the red text with the red leggings. It's comfy, it's cozy, it's Taylor Swift. Can't complain. Okay, now I'm out of here. <laughs> Literally, it ended. We're like, again? Again? On court? One more? Say, last people in the theater? Of course. People start the over. Yeah. <laughs> but I can't leave. They haven't played Long Live Let yet. Except they did. In the credits. In the credits. I'm home. <laughs> And it was the best experience ever. I was just telling Steven all about it while he was uh, enjoying some of the Eras Tour leftover popcorn. Mm -hmm. Of course, had to go for the souvenir bucket, which I do feel like we actually get we actually get our mileage out of like the reusable buckets and cups and stuff. Whenever we get those, we use them for like ever. That's not the point. You just wanted it because it says Taylor Swift. Of on, course, which of is course. Fine to be just the reason. But we also do have. I mean, look at what's up. Look at what's holding our child's toys. On the kitchen counter. Is that well, not yeah, a popcorn Grace, Grace bucket? loves that. Kenzie said Grace should use this to trick or treat this year because it has the little handle. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna, um, when I go do my skincare, we'll do a little debrief. I'll tell you guys all my thoughts. But how was your night? It was good. Grace and I had a lot of fun. Good. We got some takeout Mexican food. She had a bean and cheese burrito, which she loved. Good. Um, it's funny, like some bean and cheese burritos for kids are like really small and yeah. like perfect for her. And this one was like, Way too big. It was like a normal bean and cheese burrito. <laughs> it wasn't even, no it was just way bigger than a kid, like, I don't know. Anyways, it was funny. So I was like, I was playing the chopping game and like <laughs> squeezing out beans for her. And <laughs> we just had a fun night. Okay. We made quite a mess. So I just spent like the last half an hour cleaning that. I was going to say, I don't see a mess. It actually yeah, looks cleaner than when I left. It was an absolute disaster. And it was cute. Before she went to bed, she was like, Daddy, we got to clean up. And I was like, honey, it's okay. Like, let's get you to bed. I'll clean up when you go to bed. And so she kept like saying that over and over. Like, Daddy, clean me bed bed. <laughs> She's know. good about cleaning up. She loves that clean up song. Yeah, clean up, no, clean, clean up. up. You, you know, I, I didn't even know. I guess that's from Barney. And yeah, my mom goes, oh, did you start showing her like Barney? I was like, no. I, we just sing that. <laughs> like, I yeah. think everyone our, our generation who like grew up watching Barney, they would just yeah, sing that when we're, we're cleaning it. up. <laughs> yeah, super fun night. I'm a little tired. <laughs> I'm down for an early night. Yeah. And it's I have like an, a crazy weekend coming up. So. Yeah, I have an early morning tomorrow uh, going to run some errands and pick up stuff before setting up for the baby shower and then doing all the baby shower stuff and yeah. the actual baby shower. Oh, by the way, what? Um, <laughs> speaking of me and Grace making messes, Grace thought it would be really nice to rearrange all of your makeup. Oh, that's okay. So I think she, she just took everything out of the drawers and put it on the counter. <laughs> okay. So if you go in and everything's on the counter. <laughs> that's why. That's why. Okay. <laughs> Mm, that's actually not that bad. I, I expected worse. Grace has been so into makeup lately. Like she, she says that for Christmas, she wants her own makeup. And it's ki it kind of surprises me because like I'm not a huge makeup person, but um, like every day, almost every day, she's asking me if we can do makeup together and play with the makeup. And so I'll let her like play with my brushes. And you know, sometimes we'll do like a little bit of glitter highlighter and she just loves it. She even loves when we're not like playing with the makeup on our faces, just like organizing with it and like playing pretend with just the bottles that are closed. She loves it. So I'm, I'm not, I'm not at all surprised by this. Um, but yeah, I just washed my face. I, uh, I have some notes here that I wrote down on my way out of the theater about the Eras Tour concert movie, because I was like, I, I don't want to forget any of the things that I was thinking while I was watching it. I want to talk about it with you guys. And it's really, it's really exciting to be able to like, talk about this movie and vlog the experience because that's not something that I've been doing lately with the strike that's going on in Hollywood. You know, there've been a few movies that I've seen and that I've really wanted to talk about, but I don't wanna get in the way of the strike that's going on in Hollywood. Both the Writers Guild and the Actors Guild are on strike. The strike is really important and seeing movies and like struck work during the strike is still encouraged by the unions. You know, going and supporting the work that they did is still encouraged, but having a platform and like 
talking about struck films, posting about it, promoting it, that's different. And I've heard that that can undermine what the workers are striking for. So that's obviously not something that I wanted to do. So I just like haven't been mentioning cinematic experiences recently, but the Eras Tour movie does not cross the picket line. It is an approved work during the strike by the union. Taylor reached an agreement with them, which is super, super cool. So I am so excited to be talking about the Eras Tour movie, which, okay, like for, first thing to say, I'm just so glad that like the most amazing concert experience of my life is now forever documented, memorialized. So I can go back and watch it over and over and over again, which I cannot wait. I, first, I can't wait to go see it again. Dying to go see it again. I am so excited for whatever this ends up on like a streaming service or if I can buy it. And like specific parts that I just wanna watch on repeat, like the Marjorie Bridge. Oh my God, endless chills. Um, uh, tolerate it. Of course, all too well, 10 minute version. Also, like, I just love the um, vigilante shit choreography and just like the, that whole number on the stage is fantastic. And like the, the illicit affairs bridge and the emotion and that there's so, I could go on and on. So excited to be able to rewatch everything. Um, but I will say, I, it took me a minute to get into it. The first couple minutes of the movie, I just was like, I was very aware of the camera cuts. It felt like it was switching angles a lot. I didn't feel like I was fully in it. And I was like, oh, okay, all right. This is, you know, this is gonna feel different. But that maybe lasted like two or three minutes. It was by The Bridge of Cruel Summer, which is the second song. <laughs> by that, I was like, fully there. It was so fun. Also, the, like the energy in, in our theater was perfect in the sense that like everyone was super excited and like singing and you could see people like dancing in their chairs, but no one was like taking it to the next level where then it was like impeding the viewing experience. You know, I, I saw some videos on TikTok of people like worried that people were gonna be like standing in front of the screen and dancing in the aisles. And of course, you know, everyone experiences these things in a different way and everyone should have fun with it. But Kenzie and I felt like for us, it was like the perfect level of excitement and participation. Like everyone did the one, two, three, let's go bitch chant. Awesome energy, but not uh, over the top. It was still, you know, like a movie theater experience. We were sitting back in our comfy chairs and seeing the concert as a movie. I feel like there were things that I noticed and things that I really enjoyed that I didn't notice when I saw it actually in concert. Like it was just really cool to see all of the choreography up close, the costumes, her facial expressions, the background dancers. Like there were a lot of subtleties that, you know, being in a huge stadium, you don't see everything. And so that was really cool. Like specifically, I remember I had this thought during Willow when they have like the balls of fire and they're in the capes. I was just like, wow, this is, this was cool on stage, but seeing it up close is like totally different and just really, really cool. And there were so many moments that just like gave me actual physical chills. Like it, it, the first time was during Love Story, which kind of took me by surprise. There's just this really cool moment with like the lights coming up and you know, Taylor's in like the iconic old school, like kind of fringe gold dress. And I just like, I got chills on my whole body and I looked at Kenzie, I was like, why did I just get chills? And she was like, same. And like, there was, there was multiple moments like that where I was just like, oh my gosh, even watching this on a screen, not experiencing it live in person, Taylor just has an effect on me. Like I just, gosh, I love her. She is so amazing. She's such an amazing performer. Her voice sounded fantastic. I'm obsessed with her as if I hadn't had enough Taylor, of course, the whole drive home, singing along to the favorites. I, as soon as I finished this, I'm like, okay, let's, let's go back through some of the highlights from the Eras Tour concert movie soundtrack. Soundtrack? I, can you even call it a soundtrack when the whole movie's a concert? Set list, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was amazing. I'm like already plotting how and when I can see it again. I want, want to get Steven to go with me. My dad's a big Taylor Swift fan, so I literally texted him as I was walking out of the theater. I was like, hey, would you want to go see the Eras Tour concert movie with me? Because it's amazing and I love it so much. Also, this made me just really want to see her live again. Oh my gosh, I... I am so excited for whatever that next opportunity arises to see her because wow, she's just such a fantastic performer. And especially like the Eras Tour is so cool because I've been a, a fan of Taylor Swift since I was like 11 or 12 years old. So like this, you know, the, the songs that she was playing on this, this tour were like the soundtrack to my life for the past 
15 years. So it's very like close to my heart and it was just really fun and special. And I'm so glad I got to see it with Kenzie. Also, I'm trying to think if there's any other skincare I want to do because I literally just put on moisturizer and <laughs> under eye cream and then talked about Taylor Swift for eight minutes. So yeah, I think I'm good. I'm good. All right. Well, I'm gonna put my pajamas on, go to bed nice and early, and then uh, I've got a big day tomorrow, getting things ready for the baby shower. So let's uh, let's end the vlog with a little montage of any clips that I happen to take tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>